Oh, jeez, I was so close. Oh. Yeah, these things are really earning their reputation as the Zubat of this game. I am just trying to leave. I just want to go home. Alright, book it, book it, book it. Okay, honestly? Not that bad. Considering what we were up against. Ah, yes, I would like to heal my one relatively intact Pokemon and my three others who are simply in shambles. That never sounds right, being told that they hope to see you soon. Because that's like leaving the hospital. Checking out of the hospital after being in for several days after a botched surgery. And being told, hey, hope to see you again sometime. No! I hope I'm not coming back after that. Let's go with five. Yep. And five. Because I typically work in fives. Except for Pokemons, where I work in tens. Because Premier Balls are fun. They don't do anything, they're just nice to have. I typically reserve them for whatever shinies I come across, which, funny story, first time I ever saw a shiny in my own game, it was a shiny Steelix in Pokemon Platinum, and in that game, they're a off-green, I want to say? But yeah, so I came across it, forgetting completely what a shiny was, and then promptly killed it. Thinking that it was a graphical error on my part. And then looking up later what a shiny steel looks like, and coming to find out, oh, it was that. It was that. And I wouldn't see or catch another shiny again until a shiny Mydiana on my Pokemon Emerald cartridge. Which I've owned for so many years that the clock no longer works. I really just want to see... Catbug Evolve. That's really the only thing I'm invested in right now. Oh god, there's more. This is my nightmare.
Wait. Wait. So scratching is not effective, but Ember has normal effectiveness. What are you? Was that a thing for a while, where Fire-type moves dealt normal damage to Rock-types? Oh jeez. I am not... No. I refuse, at this point. Oh, why? Come on. Is that this thing's ability that it refuses to let me leave? Because if so, I hate it. You've given me even further reason to despise this thing with every fiber of my being. God, it's like if they took a furret, cut it in half, and stuck it to a gold bat. Fairy Wind. Um, yes, Delita move for Fairy Wind. Oh, wow. It didn't occur to me before. Um, they have Fairy Typing in this game. That's interesting. I did not expect. Oh god, come on. I did not expect it to have fairy typing in this game. I just completely glossed over it because I never use charm. Alright, Catbug, level 8, still hasn't evolved. I'm starting to get worried and think that perhaps I caught something that doesn't evolve. And if so, why, God, do you torture me so? Alright, he's good. Do I check the Pokedex? Do I see if there's one or two slots in between him and the next thing? Or is that cheating? I mean, I certainly want to know if he evolves. Barrel. Because I'd like to know what I can expect to haunt my nightmares for the remainder of my time playing this game. Oh, he has Sturdy now. He has to be a rock type. There's no other way. How do I still only know three moves? I have sworn never to leave this cave until I win 100 consecutive battles. Oh god. Can you imagine if I was the 100th person to come across him. Say he's on 99 right now. And because of me, he would have to restart completely. 
I really hope that's the joke at the end of this. I am so down. Mankey's also level 7, which makes me think that there's nothing else after this. I swear that Flame Body has a 100% success rate. I don't think anyone has gone unscathed. What is a... Bashan? It's a pig sheep! That's kinda cool! I completely guessed. So, there's something. Ooh. That gave out a lot. In hindsight, perhaps that was a silly vow to swear. Oh no, you're telling me I wasn't number 99 or number 100. That was to be victory 99? Oh no. I am so sorry. Oh, that has to be the exit. Come on. Do not keep me waiting. Yeah, Cat Boach is going to tear through at this point. What are you? Is he steel? Because I feel with a steel type, they would have mentioned something about fire being super effective. And I do not think. Anyone is going to be evolving this part, and that makes me a little sad. Oh, hello there. I realize I forgot to use Flash when I came back in here, but I don't think we're missing anything. Oh, come on. And you are the rare encounter, I presume? Oh, jeez, he's fast. Or Cat looks just slow, because come to think of it, I don't think any of them have been particularly fast. Except for maybe Scyther and Ninjask. I miss anything, but I'm just gonna round the corner again. That better be the exit. I don't see sunlight coming out of it, but please, for all that is holy, I want to end this episode. Reminds me of a Sawaddle now that I think about it. Mm 
All right, was nine the lucky number? Please give me something. Ow. Are we done? No. Well, I'm gonna save. If nothing else. This cave is turning out to be a lot longer than I would expect one to be. Oh, thank God. Okay, I'm just going to find the Pokemon Center, use it, probably plant some berries. Oh, jeez. The bustling city of the mountains. Is this, this game's equivalent to Goldenrod? Because if so... Fair play to you. Oh, God. Place is beautiful. Okay, there it is. Alright. And we'll ignore the people in here for now. Let's go see what those hikers wanted. More than likely a battle, but... post to make it seem like I battled them first. Five. Which begs the question. Oh. <sighs> Literally two steps away. So. See, so that begs the question, though. With him giving a revive, does that mean if in the Nuzlocke version I would also get a revive? Because, of course, reviving Pokemon is a big no no during Nuzlocke's. Now. I've always been told that the rules of a Nuzlocke outside of the main three are pretty much up to the person's interpretation. Um, so what I was thinking of doing, because obviously I'm going to find revives, I'm going to be given revives, 
Um, I was thinking, why not use that? But specifically only during battle. Oh my god, I hate you with a passion. Because then what I'd be doing is I'd be using my turn to revive another Pokemon. With the Pokemon being out in the field, possibly dying in the process. So it'd be a gamble. It's There's some give and take there. Okay, and, and the little red's supposed to indicate that I'm being poisoned. What did you want? You wanted to fight. Fantastic. I am so glad I ran into you first. Oh, wait, I didn't. Am I? I'm not poisoned anymore. Oh, I get it. I think I read earlier when I was looking through the profiles, Catbug actually has uh, the natural cure ability. So yeah, he can't be poisoned. So right now the only person dying is Dillodile. This is a war of attrition. Beautiful. What did I win? Oh, he's got a Dunsparce. Oh wait, you know... Shoot. He knows rollout, so I'm going to make the executive decision to roast him alive with Dillodile and hope that this game did not change Sunsparks' typing to ground. I do not believe they did. Lucky us, I guess. Defense Rose, yeah, it doesn't really help you. Does it really matter when you're burning alive? I say as I am vomiting my inside because I am badly poisoned. Ooh, wait. So that is something else I realize they do a lot with Pokemon fan games, is give underutilized or under... Hold on, I just get their comeuppance. Yep. I think I got everything. But yeah, let me just talk and walk here. Something that I realize they do a lot with underutilized or underappreciated Pokemon in these fan games is give them more evolutions. So I'm curious if the purpose of Dunsparce being in this game is so the developers could give them that next phase of evolution. Because I think I along with a lot of other people, were always confused by how generation after generation would come and go and Dunsparce would still only be a basic Pokemon. Basic in the form that, you know, he doesn't evolve. Which is weird, because the mythology that he's based off of, he's meant to be this giant winged snake. But he's not. He's a chubby little ground snake that just so happens to have wings. But yeah, very, very strange. I think... Ah, speak of the devil. So, two other ones that come to mind. Um, this would be in Pokemon... Snakewood, which is the... Uh, zombie Apocalypse Pokemon run hack. Excuse me. They... Got Quillfish and they let Quillfish turn into Quill Shark, which was quite intimidating. And then they had Lainu, which Lainu would get his own evolution in Pokemon Sword and Shield, but he would be 
I think they ended up calling him Dragoon. And yeah, he was a ferret dragon. Which, needless to say, is one of the craziest things that they... One of the crazier things they did in that game. Because, of course, in that game, I think you can also catch a Pokemon version of Gladys from uh, Portal. And I forget what they... I want to say they gave, they gave Mariana uh, an additional evolution. But I cannot recall what it looked like. But I mean, if they're going to give, you know, Lainun a dragon-type evolution, I imagine they did something similar with him. And just like that, we're out. I should have assumed that the latter was the escape. Um, hello, sir? Welcome to Nautish City. I'm the official town greeter. All right. Survive the poisoning, the poison fade away. Okay, so we are operating under those mechanics. Um, but yeah, I think with that, I'm just going to find myself a Pokemon Center. Maybe grind Raven and Ringo in the cave. Off screen, of course, because that would take a lot of doing. With one being a ground type and the other one being a flying type. And with one of the most annoying Pokemon, the little Zubat clone being in the map. Stand right. We'll just, we'll just we'll just do it outside. Now, let's see. Wow, we've been doing this for two and a half hours. Hardly feels like it. All right, and with that said, I think that just about does it for this part of Pokemon Uranium. Thank you all so much for tuning in today. Hope you do stick it out for the long haul. This has been On the First Gaming, and hey, until then. <laughs>